Meishu Sama is a man of revolution. Take the issue of nutrition, for example. In this modern world, most of us believe in the concept of nutrition based on Western science, represented by nutrients like protein, vitamins, calcium, fiber, carbohydrates, and so on. We believe that if we lack, for example, a certain vitamin, we need to eat food that contains this vitamin, or in some cases, take a supplement. Following this concept of nutrition, we conclude that the healthiest diet is a balanced diet, eating various foods of different colors, rich in nutrients. But look at what Meishu Sama says. His concept of nutrition and health is absolutely, completely, and entirely opposite to that of Western science. He says that actually it is your digestive system, it is your digestive system that produces all the nutrients necessary for your body. He says that what you eat does not matter. What you, what you eat does not matter. Whatever you eat, your digestive system will produce the necessary nutrients for you. He even goes on to say that you can just eat rice and rice only and your body will ever so magically and miraculously produce all sorts of nutrients necessary to maintain your body. Meishu Sama believes that it is your body, not food, that produces nutrients. We believe that we need to eat food that has a lot of nutrients, analyzing the various, various components that exist in a particular food. Don't we call some foods superfoods, which are believed to confer great health benefits and say that it is healthy to eat them? But look at what Meishu Sama says. He says that we need to eat food that lacks in nutrition. We need to eat food that lacks in nutrition. My goodness, how revolutionary Meishu Sama is. How different his idea of nutrition is compared to that of Western science. He says that he prepared food lacking in nutrition for all of his six children and that the result was surprising. His children grew well and not even once suffered from serious illness, being healthy always. Meishu Sama believes that if you eat food packed with nutrition, your body basically becomes lazy since it does not need to work to produce all the nutrients. But if you eat food that lacks in nutrition, there arises the need for your body to produce the necessary nutrients for you, which in turn strengthens your body and keeps you healthy. For Meishu Sama, it was unthinkable to take supplements in belief that your body lacks a particular nutrient. When you take things like supplements, Meishu Sama says that the nutrient-producing system nutrient-producing system of your body stops working, making your body weak, as there is no need for it to work and produce nutrients. For followers of Meishu Sama then, it is impossible to say something like, oh, I need to eat more meat to get protein, because this goes against the belief Meishu Sama has on nutrition. You will be a believer of Western science, not of, Me not of Meishu Sama. I mean, for Meishu Sama, you can just eat rice and still your body will produce enough protein or vitamins or any other nutrients for your body. As all of you know very well by now, Meishu Sama said that in the world of Miroku, all humanity will follow a vegan diet. But did you also know that Meishu Sama repeatedly said, repeatedly said that he would start a vegan diet when he reached the age of 90? Unfortunately, Meishu Sama passed away in 1955 when he was 72, before reaching 90. But if he had continued to live, he would have changed his diet to a vegan diet when he reached 90, that is in the year 1972. Everyone, if Meishu Sama was still alive today, he would be practicing a vegan diet, 
he would not he would not be eating any meat. By now he would have been practicing a vegan diet for more than 50 years. My goodness, what have we been doing for the last 50 years? We are truly sorry, Meshusama. If I, if I do not practice a vegan diet, I think it will be very difficult for me to call myself a follower of Meshusama. I mean, what am I going to do when I have the honor of sharing a meal with Meshusama? When I receive the honor of sitting at the same table as Meshusama? Am I not going to eat what Meshusama is eating? Well, if you don't follow Meshusama's example, you can't be his follower, can you? How about this idea that eating meat makes you strong? Nowadays, it seems that everybody believes in this idea. But look how different Meshu Sama's idea on eating meat was. He says that actually, eating meat makes you weak. Eating meat makes you weak. He says that it makes you sick, causing cancer especially. Mesama says that the food that creates good blood and strength is vegetables, not meat. Isn't the idea that eating meat makes us strong so ingrained in our thinking? But Meshu Sama is advocating something completely opposite to that idea. For us followers of Meshu Sama, if we want to be strong, we must eat grains and vegetables, not meat. Real followers of Meshu Sama eat grains and vegetables, not meat. What am I trying to say by telling you all this? I am in no way trying to tell you that from now on you should just eat rice or that you have to deny medical science. When you are sick, please do consult a doctor, and if you so wish, listen to his or her advice. What I'm trying to say is that even though you might think that it is easy to be a follower of Meshu Sama, it is not. It is not easy. It is easy to follow Meshu Sama if you just pick and choose parts of his sacred word, just incorporating or practicing some of his ideas that sound good to you. This is easy, and this is what everyone is doing. But this is not being a follower or believer of Meshu Sama. This is just using Meshu Sama instead of following him. To follow and believe in Meshu Sama means that you have to follow and believe what Meshu Sama believed. Can you believe in Meshu Sama's concept of nutrition that I told you today? Which, by the way, is just a fraction of it? Can you believe in Meshu Sama's sacred word that all humanity will follow a vegan, plant-based diet in the world of Miroku? Can you believe in Meshu Sama when he said that God prepared soil to produce the food necessary for all human beings on earth, and that to achieve this, you only need to use simple compost made by things like fallen leaves and nothing else, no pesticides, no fertilizers, nothing? Can you believe in Meshu Sama? Can you believe in Meshu Sama when he said almost 70 years ago that from now on, Jore was not so important anymore and that we entered the world of Sonen? Can you believe in Meshu Sama's idea of purific purification? The idea that in this world, nothing bad is happening and never will, and that everything that is happening is a good thing? Can you really believe in it? Can you believe in Meshu Sama when he said that he would save all humanity by working in concert with Christians? Can you believe in Meshu Sama who entrusted his work to Nida Sama, to the holy seat of Kyoshu, just before passing away? To be a follower of Meshu Sama means that you believe in everything Meshu Sama said and did. You can't just conveniently select parts and claim to be a follower of Meshu Sama. So I ask you today, I challenge you today. Can you really be a follower and a believer of Meshu Sama? Can you really? And consider this. In the final year of his earthly life, Meshu Sama said that there was not a single member, not a single member whom he considered to be his true follower. If you want, you can be the first.